The back and forth Has got me so messed up Don't ignore what's up fam how are you doing welcome to my sunday yes welcome to my channel and if it's your first time here thank you so much for coming if it's your second time or third time or you're always a member of this family just know that i really do appreciate you so yeah as i've said today is sunday and i'm gonna welcome you to my sunday how i spend my sunday after covid like when covid 19 came of course things changed and this is how i usually spend my sunday Yup, so I'm gonna take you to my church service, which is happening, you will see when you get there. Today is gonna be an exciting day and I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it as well. So let's go for service. So great people, I don't know about you, but one of the things that I usually do when I'm in service is take notes. Like I like writing down the important points and I've been using my journal because I just put the date and then just write the things that I've learned on that particular day, especially from that someone. Yes, so that's why we are in this room. I came to pick my book and my pen, yes. And you can see there's just green going on. Of course, the book is green as well. And my dress is green, but I'm wearing a dress. I'll show you after the service. For now, let's focus, yes. This is where the service happens from, by the way, right here on my living room, yep. So I had to stop that because of the copyright issues. So what happens is this, like after COVID came, I decided to be praying from home. Like, of course, at some point we could not go to our churches. Initially, I used to go to International Christian Center, ICC. I'm still a member there, yes, but the only thing is that now, since COVID, I've not been going to church. Like, of course, because the obvious reasons you guys all know. And then uh, what, what now, what I did from that time when COVID started is there's this pastor called Michael Todd from Transformational Church in Oklahoma. So I decided, the first time I think I heard about this this pastor was through a friend of mine called Trish. And Trish, there's a time I went to their, we call it um, connecting group, CG. They were having a meeting in the evening and then she invited me to their CG. So CGs are connecting groups. You have them in ICC where you meet in your region and then you discuss, like you have more Bible study. It's, it's a Bible study group, but of course, it can be people that you get to like they help you grow spiritually then they help you grow like people of common interest you understand what i'm trying to say i don't know how else i can explain it to you but you used to have them in our church like we still do have them in our church so yeah so she introduced me to that group that's trish and then the day that i went for that cg it was the first time and then there was this topic that michael todd was talking about that's our pastor michael todd about uh crazy faith yes and that's how i got to know about michael todd so i liked the message that he shared on that day and then after that i kept on watching some of his preaching and all that so when covid 19 came i decided to be listening to his preaching like watching what's happening like for example like now today my preaching is going to be what happened last sunday so i'm usually one sunday behind because of course you know in states right now it's not yet morning so of course by the time they're going to the service it will be later on here so that's why i choose to have the sermon for last sunday so that i don't miss on anything and i also don't wait for too long because you never know maybe on a sunday in the evening i will be somewhere else yeah so that's what's gonna happen right now and what usually happen is when i wake up in the morning i come and put on some praise and worship songs i mean just to be in the spirit and then i feel like sundays are more of mine and god i know that during the, the other days are not mine and god but yeah sunday is more it's it's for him like it's for me and him so you're gonna join me on my service i'll definitely share with you what will happen later but for now let's join the service Welcome to Saturday. I'm excited in the building. Hey, and that's my pastor. I want to welcome you to a Sunday like no other Sunday because we've never had it before. Every day we escape, losing all of our faith. We can't live this way. Feel me slowly fade away. If 
if you believe it, give God one big shout of praise. Go out and live a transformed life. Hallelujah! So, good people, uh, my service has come to an end and uh, the sermon was really, really nice. Like, seriously, it was really, really nice. I think I'll share with you. Of course, my notebook is here. I'll share with you some of the things that I learned, some of the things that stood out. Our current topic is crazier faith. And I think it's going to go until December. From what Pastor Michael Todd said, I think it's going to go. It's the, it's the theme for until December. So he was just talking about our ear. Like, who do you give your ear? Who do you talk to who do you listen to the people that you surround yourself with especially when it comes to sharing things like your dreams who do you share your dream with like do you share with people who they're going to kill your dream he gave an example of a verse in the bible that talks about when the kings were being killed like they were being killed when they were young the same thing as dreams dreams are usually being killed when they are still young so sometimes you tell someone that oh you've been given like you want to do something and then they're like what makes you think that you can do that particular thing and he went on and on and talk about it and was like watch who you talk to and watch who you hear like even I don't know why but for some reason last week I was talking in my last video I was talking about this is Earth that is Sharon Mundia and when Sharon was saying that she's very careful about what she feeds on when it comes to on social media like the people that she follows the same as this thing of wearing like who do you listen to who you, who do you choose to even on social media who do you feed on their stuff like who gives you you know who do you listen to i don't know why i'm repeating myself but i think guys you get the point that's one of the things that i took from today's preaching and then something that he added on that was that whoever has your ear has your faith like whoever you tell stuff and whoever you listen to you will believe what they're saying you will definitely believe whatever they're saying so try to listen to people who give you hope people with crazier faith people who you know they can fight for you even when you don't have the strength to fight for you your circle of friends determines a lot like your circle of friends is really really important you need to have a fighter you need to have people who will believe in you when you then when you don't believe in yourself people who will sacrifice things for you like in your circle of friends people who believe in your dreams more than even you do you need such people in your life and i thank god for my life because i, I feel like i have people who actually believe in me that much and sometimes they might be family sometimes they might not be family sometimes they are friends sometimes they just you know people who even believe in you and you don't know there are people who pray for you and you don't know so anyway that's the message for today um it's around it's around 1 18 i'm supposed to go for lunch i'm supposed to go and meet a friend of mine for lunch so i'm just gonna leave right now and i'm gonna bring you along with me but it's been a great sunday it's been a great sermon so far so i'm hungry definitely and yeah thank you so much for watching up to here by the way if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly do help me meet my goal for 2021 like my goal for this year was to get 6,000 subscribers i know my subscription is a bit off like you can't see it but trust me we are almost there and i'll bring it after my birthday i was just trying to see how it's gonna happen but i'll bring it back after my birthday since my birthday is coming very soon so anyway good people it's time to go let's go together and yeah I'm gonna bring you along to meet my friend as well but i feel like i'm really pumped up like i'm ready for the week and <sighs> pastor michael todd is just amazing and the someone was just good like yeah i'm glad every day i feel time slipping passing skipping by all the words i could say just can't really seem to stay just gotten here to the place where we are supposed to eat. I'm looking for Sylvia right now. Yeah. Hi guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm finally here and I'm so hungry. I mean, like, Sylvia, what, did you go to church? Mm, no. Do you get to pray from home when you're not going to church? Yes, I do. So which church do you go to when you're at home? Uh, okay. PCA. <laughs> when I'm at home. I feel like she's when like... I'm in the house. <laughs> When I'm in the house, I do different services. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. But I feel like she's lying. Anyway. No. <laughs> anyway, we are here to eat. We are here to eat. So I'm just waiting for the food. And then the place is packed. We are at 
the name of this place? 67. 67. It's somewhere yeah. along Mombasa Road. If you know, you know. Yes. <laughs> Thing. <laughs> Guys, we've been here for so long, it's even cold. Oh my god, then we can hang to this. <laughs> yeah, we've been here for too long. Sylvia is trying to practice what to say, yes. what to tell you. Yes, yes. So have you practiced? I can know. I need that script. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but we are so full. Like of course the food that we ate and uh, I know it. I know yeah, it. Like we finished all the food that you saw by the way. That's why we were not even able to shoot. But the good thing is at least we work out. Yeah. So tomorrow we'll go and work out. <laughs> Yeah, this is what I'm wearing today, today, today. I said I was gonna show you guys what I'm wearing, and my camera lady is just trying to be so professional. Oh my god, but this is what I'm wearing. It's from the arts collection as well. And today I'm wearing a dress, like you can see my back. Yes, it's very long, by the way, and it's very, I, I think I love it because of, I took it. Before. Okay, wait, I bought it because of the pockets. Yeah, and then the fact that there's this one here, I don't have to, you know, you know, if you know, you know. So that's what I'm wearing today, yes. I'm going to end this video here with Sylvia, yes. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much guys for watching. Sylvia, if there's anything you want to tell my people before we go. Mwah, subscribe to her channel, she has very awesome content. Yes, Don't yes, miss yes, out. yes, yes, thank you so much, and thank you so much for watching. If you've gotten here, just like Sylvia said, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And until next time, peace out.